Hey guys, this is Kate Kennedy, and I'm excited to be the guest designer for Hot Rods Boutique for November and December. So I'm starting off with this whimsy stamp, and it's called Scandy Christmas. I'm super excited about it because it gives you the ability to create a really cool like sweater, sweater pattern background. And what's great about it is that it has some um, line stamps that are already a pattern already created, or it has a bunch of different components that you can create your own pattern, which is what I'm going to do in this card. So I've found that after some trial and error trying to do this that I had to have lines to help me guide my stamping. I also had to start in the center with one of the stamps, make a whole diagonal line of it, and then start to fill in with the other components. This was the only way that I could get a pattern that was um, full enough, you know, like it, it had enough going on and wasn't too busy, and also that stayed straight because otherwise it was all over the place. It's not as easy as it looks. It might be for some people, but it wasn't for me. So I start off by using like the two largest images, which is what I'm doing here, and then I'll fill in some smaller images. So now that my pattern is all complete, I'm going to erase the lines. Now you can't use a pigment ink when you do this because the pigment ink will sit on top of the paper and therefore on top of the pencil lines and you won't be able to erase them. So you're going to want to use a dye ink that soaks into the paper and therefore you're able to erase the lines. So I have a piece of, it's kind of like embossed wood grain white cardstock. Um, just to add some texture to the base of the card. If you don't have this, you can use an embossing folder, which is a great option. You can put any pattern on there. So I've also stamped the little Merry Christmas sentiment on just some white cardstock and cut it out in a straight line. I'm going to trim down the um, card front and then I'm going to fold over the two ends of the Merry Christmas and create a little pennant. First, I'm going to glue down this Christmas tree wood veneer and add some twine. So after fuzzing with this twine, I'm going to put down the sentiment and I've used some um, two layers of foam adhesive and also I'm going to use some of this um, Ranger multi matte medium just to make sure that the ends are down and everything's glued down so that it won't move too much. It's a pretty flat card so it's kind of, I think, I think it'd be okay for mailing. I'm going to also put some foam adhesive on the back of this panel and that is going to finish the card. So stay tuned for some close-up pictures. Don't forget to visit Hot Rod Boutiques on Etsy and use the code KATEND14. I'll have links below and also links to all supplies used and you can also head over to my blog for the discount code, links to the store, and links to all the supplies. So thanks guys so much for watching. Hope you're having a great start to this holiday season and I'll see you all real soon. Bye.